Hi, today we're going to be making a really easy um, biscuit. All you need is three ingredients and um, all you need is three ounces of plain flour, two ounces of butter and one ounce of sugar to make this um, biscuit mix. I've already weighed out the three ounces of flour, one ounce of um, sugar and just to show you a dead easy way of being able to calculate how much butter it is. This is a four ounce butter, so halves four and around about here should give us the two ounce measurement. Using the same bowl, they can all be put together. And what's called a rubbing in method this is all you need to do. You're just going to be making, with the tips of your fingers, what looks like breadcrumbs. It's like a crumble stage. Okay, so we've now got it to what looks like um, a sandy crumble texture. You can add any ingredients that you want if, at this point, whether you want to turn cinnamon or ginger. Um, a little bit of rind of lemon will just zest them up and give them a nice fresh taste. You can also just keep them um, quite plain and simple with the three ingredients. Just carry on mixing them in and you'll start to feel that it's going to come together a bit more. Just give it a bit more pressure between your fingers. Okay, so this takes some time. You can do it in a food processor, but with the amount that I'm doing today, I don't think that you actually need to go that far. Some people may not have a food processor, I don't actually have one. Um, I've got very basic at home. So now you can start to feel it's coming together. Bring it out onto the table so you can see it a bit more. Okay, so it's all coming together now. This is very, very straightforward biscuit mix. But to be honest, one of the best I've eaten. And I've eaten a lot of biscuits. Okay, so there we go. It's all come together. And we need to move on to the next stage. Stop. So now the biscuit mix is all together. If it does feel a little bit dry, then you can add a tiny bit of, bit of oil just to kind of manipulate it all, just so it's a nice pastry kind of feeling Play-Doh, if, um, <laughs> if you so wish. Um, just so it's nice and easy in your hands. There's nothing that stays on the um, work surface. It is just the biscuit mix. So with a tiny bit of flour, just dust and then you're going to need a rolling pin now i don't know where my rolling pin is but i'm guessing that it's in the play-doh um, box upstairs so i have to use what is known as cling film and this is really good for just obviously rolling out and what you're going to be needing is the thickness that you require Keep it moving all the time so then it doesn't get stuck to the surface that you're rolling it onto. Keep flouring it up, but not too much flour because you don't want to make it too dry. Now that to me is what I would like the thickness of my biscuits. <clears throat> then with your own um, cling film, I should paint on this really. Take off the, the resi residue of the flour, throw it away and then you've got yourself a new rolling pin. So as it's Easter, um, it would be good to do like an Easter theme. Um, at work I was doing the Easter bunnies and the G-File bunnies, but unfortunately I don't have one of the cutters at home. All I have is just a circular cutter. So my 
theory that I was going to go for was just turning them from a circle into an egg shape. Placing them onto your baking tray. So I'm just going to make three egg shapes because there's three of us at home here. <clears throat> if you want to feel really adventurous, you can um, cut out and try and be creative that way. It's not a tooth, <laughs> this is going to be my rabbit. The mixture will easily come back together and form as one. So there is no waste. Like I say, with biscuits, you can make them as easy or as hard as you like. Um, keep them plain. Maybe just a little bit of sugar. I'll go for the full um, chocolate them up, icing sugar. You can be as creative as you like. Fill them with jam. It's completely up to yourself. Just going to do a circle. into the cookie mix to give the indentations. And then pop this onto the tray and they're ready to go in the oven. Okay, so these have had 10 minutes in the oven. They've literally come out. I've placed them onto a tea towel so they don't burn your work surfaces. Whilst these are still hot, I'm just going to place, just into this one, some chocolate drops that I accidentally found in my daughter's Easter egg that she doesn't no longer have. So I'm just going to pop these in here and they will just melt and mould around the biscuit and while it, um, cools down it should hold it in place. I'm just going to go and let the other ones fully um, cool out now before we start to ice them. Okay so to speed up cooling down process you can actually put them onto another plate which will obviously help cool them down faster. If you have a cooling wire all the better like I say, this is home and I don't have anything like that. While they're cooling, I'm going to just make a tiny bit of icing. So it's just a small amount in a bowl. I like to use a tiny bit of lemon juice, just a few drops. And this will just obviously make it quite lemony to go with my biscuits. Just keep adding a tiny bit at a time. So gently incorporate the lemon juice get into all the corners and you're just going to want a consistency that just slowly drips off your spoon. If it gets too runny you can always add more ice and sugar and obviously if it's too dry add lemon juice. If you don't add lemon juice you can use um, normal water, it's the same um, effects that you get here. Okay, now the biscuits are fully cooled. I'm just going to work on them one by one. Just using the tiny bit of icing sugar that I've made, I'm just going to flood this biscuit. It's 
by the bee. My little Easter bunny. I'm just going to sprinkle some in the ears. Like I say, it's just having fun. I normally do this with my children. I'm just going to set this one back over here to set. Moving on to just a couple of the eggs. This is just all I have in my cupboard. I've got nothing special. <clears throat> um, these are just some icing pens that I had from um, decorating a cake a while back. Don't even know if there's anything in it. And it's just using up what you have in your cupboards just to have a bit of fun. You can melt down chocolate. Um, like I say, just dust them with icing sugar. When they come out of the oven, it's the best time if you're going to sprinkle them with sugar because it just sets onto them a bit more and gives it a bit more of a crunch. You can obviously make more icing sugar um, if you want into, if that's all you have, maybe a bit of sprinkles. slightly <clears throat> moving back to our little bunny you can just add its little eyes Again, just them all. And there we have them ready for Easter. <laughs> 